Mindful is translated into skills. And um, so the skills that have been incorporated into dialectical behavior therapy, and in fact, the reason dialectical behavior therapy is called what it's called rather than cognitive behavioral therapy is because in a, um, because in fact, I brought acceptance-based strategies into an integrative medical treatment back in the days when acceptance was not integrated in. My work has been with highly suicidal individuals, um, and that's who I started with. And um, my basic game plan was uh, I was a guy in the world, totally believer in behavior therapy, I still am, actually. And, uh, and so I figured that I was going to treat suicidal behavior, which no one else had tried to do with behavior therapy, and there really was no research on treatment of suicidal behavior, and I was interested in suicidal behavior, and really that was the group that I wanted to work with. So I decided I would get loads of super suicidal people, because I had to get them really suicidal so I could show I could get them less. I actually had no idea what I was walking into at the time, and I'd certainly never heard of borderline personality in my lifetime, because analysts talk about that, and the behavior therapists on their deathbed don't read the analyst literature. I started dealing with these people. This is that my entire manual was written before, without the word borderline personality disorder in it even one time, okay? And but suicide was everywhere. So here's um, kind of what happened, okay? I walked in, you know, those were the days. This is, I started, I started really treating with behavioral treatment, suicidal behavior, way back at the beginning in 71, 72, 73, in there. But I wasn't, uh, and we did a little bit of research and had a student doing research, but I didn't get funded, wasn't really serious about, okay, now we're ready, we're going to develop a treatment. And you know, back in those days, behavior therapy, you know, we cured everybody back then in 12 weeks. Then, you know, then it kind of went to 16 weeks. You may have noticed that most of the kind of behavioral therapies now are 24 weeks. And DBT is one year. Okay? It's not really one year. It's just that's what the research is on one year. And it's definitely effective in one year. But nonetheless, the point is we kept getting longer as the clients kept getting more complex and more difficult to treat. So I, um, so I, I called up all the hospitals in town and I said, send me your worst. You know, I want people to cut themselves, try to kill themselves a lot. I want the ones no one wants. This was not hard to find. And so I said, send me those. And, you know, I figured I'd cure them all. I'm not kidding. I read back on, my, on the manual I sent in. I, was, I had a very simple little behavior therapy and it was going to work. So in they come, now I am ready to go. Okay, well, the best way to put it is the treatment blew up. Clients walk in and they say, I got this one, I got this one, I got this one. I said, Oh, no problem. What is it? Okay, I'll see you next week. And now I thought, Okay, I'll have a treatment all figured out by next week. I read my little manuals and all that kind They come in. I said, Okay, this is your problem. Here's the treatment. I said, I don't have that problem. I said, Oh, your dog? Oh, well, what is your problem? Oh, you've got a new problem. I never fear. Come back next week. Next week, I walk in. I said, Okay, I got this new manual here. Here we go. And he said, I don't have that problem anymore. I said, oh my gosh. So I started kind of like doing, I thought, well, I can do behavior therapy with a lot of problems. So I started doing that. The first, you know, behavior therapy is a technology of change. And so I used the technology of change. I said, okay, I'll help you change. And you said, what? You see, I'm the problem. I said, oh, absolutely not. I'm not saying that. Of course, you want the problems to really understand. I will give you that way. You're the perfect as you are. They say, you won't understand my suffering if you're not going to help me change. I said, I've never fear. I'll help you change. Yes, I will. He said, you're saying I'm the problem? I said, no, I'm not saying that. Absolutely not. I'm not saying that. You know, and it just went. It was really a nightmare, basically. <laughs> And went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So I knew that I needed two things. I needed something new for therapists to do, and I needed something new for the clients to do. So for the therapist, I needed a new set of strategies. I needed more than the 
that technology have changed that behavior therapy really is. And but when I say behavior therapy, I mean cognitive behavior therapy, I mean the whole thing, okay? But I needed um, more and more than just the procedures and technology of change, which behavior therapy has, and there's not the slightest out there effective for many, many people. But I need more than that with this group. So what did I need? First, I needed a technology of change. I had that. My problem was I needed some technology of acceptance. I needed a way for me, the therapist, to communicate and be accepting of the clients that I had, rather than always being focused on, okay, here's how you can change, here's what we can do, here's what we can do.